I thank everybody for Amen. coming. I thank you all for your donations, your participation. I really do appreciate it from each and every one of you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, please forgive us. I'm going to blame it on the rain and a few technical difficulties, but we are ready to get started. Y'all can clap. Put my eyes on. Okay, so before we get started, I would like to have, I call her Auntie Doris, come up and bless the event and the food as well. My beautiful Auntie, give it up for her. When I turn 65, this is what I will do. Okay. Right. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, yes. and His mercy endureth to all generations. Yes. Let every heart pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for this most auspicious occasion, oh God. We thank you and praise you for allowing us to gather here, Father God, coming from far and near, oh God, from Pontiac in the name of Jesus, oh God, to be here for this occasion. Father God, we pray right now for the food. We pray for those that prepared the food, Father God, those that grew the food, Father God, those that had a hand in it, any kind of way to get it here. Oh God, we pray that it will be nourishment to these bodies that belong to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for each and every home that's represented here, Father. We pray a blessing on them, Father God, today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we honor you as we come together, Father God, to break bread. Oh, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This performance from Pia is dedicated to my niece Cheyenne Amen. who passed away. Amen. I'm so sorry. Amen. It's all right, baby. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. My sister's uh, middle daughter. Yeah. But this performance is dedicated to her. Here I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cry. So <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, okay. I'm gonna do this though. I'm gonna do this. And also bear with me as I try to read everything that Pia has accomplished. I cannot pronounce a lot of the opera she performed in, but I will do my best. Okay, so first let's, let's have a moment of silence for Amen. those who have gone on before us. Pamela Lyons is a soprano who enjoys singing operatic roles, art song, rhythm and blues, neo soul, and jazz. She was born in New Orleans. Oh, and before I finish, just know, remember what I say in here because it's a couple of little prizes I'm going to give to those who was paying attention. Okay. So, she was born in New Orleans and grew up in Inkster, Michigan. She graduated from Inkster High School in 2011, Claflin University in Orangeburg, South Carolina in 2015, where she received her bachelor's and recently received her master's in music performance from Loyola University in New Orleans, May of 2017. At, at Claflin, she studied voice with Dr. Lori Hicks and sang in the concert choir under the direction of Isaiah McGee. At Loyola, she studied under Loretta Biden. She's had the opportunity to perform in various master classes under George Shirley, Brenda Harris, and worked with Greer Grimsley and Robert C. White from Juilliard. Miss Nyans was first place winner at the District and Regional National Association of Teachers of Singing, which is called NAS the competition in 2013. She performed as a chorus member in George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, as alto soloist in Handel's Messiah. La La, okay, here we go, 
in my neck, my tank, and a soloist in the St. Louis Cathedral's Christmas concert with Opera Creole. Right. She has also sang behind Stephanie Mills. She has performed at Baker's Keyboard Lounge in Detroit, the oldest jazz club in the world. In 2016, she had the opportunity to sing behind Yolanda Adams, Trisha Yearwood, and many other well-known artists and Adam Anders, The Passion, which aired on Fox, hosted or presented by Tyler Perry, live on Fox. Ms. Nyans has had the opportunity to teach vocal technique and health to children ages 5 to 12. She has been featured in the newspapers in Orangeburg, South Carolina, Inkster, Michigan, and the Maroon at Loyola University in New Orleans. Nyans got accepted to Opera Viva March of 2016 and attended the summer program in Verona, Italy in July of 2016 where she performed the role of Quickly and Falstaff Scene. Woo! Okay. Wait, I ain't <laughs> and Fildamo in Il Matrimonio Secreto. Got it. Nyas also performed the roles of Olga Olsen and Street Scene by Kurt Vale. Gertrude in Ganals, Romeo and Juliet, and Maria Corona in Minolte's Saint of Bleecker Street Opera Scene at Loyola University, New Orleans. Currently, Ms. Nyas has been hired to perform at the New Orleans Opera in Champion by Terrence Blanchard in 2018 as a chorus member. She will be interning at City Church International Bible College. <coughs> she will also teach private voice at Mount Carmel Academy, which is a private all-girls high school in New Orleans, Louis New Orleans, Louisiana, starting in August. Her heart's desire is to have an international performance career and, and to inspire others to follow their dreams no matter what. And to add to this, she will also be performing at Inkster's Jazz Fest July 8th and 9th. I give you Inkster's own key.
That was Pia's uh, final song for, for this evening. Now, we're going to take a Nobody really knew I could sing. I was singing at home, but then when you put me in front of people, I couldn't sing. Um, so I've always been able to sing. Now when I got some courage, I did one talent show when I was 10 years old at Daly Elementary, but um, still was, uh, afraid. I got to high school, met Mr. DeBose, realized that, okay, my voice is unique. I need to do some training. And so my last year of high school, I decided to step out on faith yes. and just go and study music, vocal music, because I believe that it's my calling. And I ended up singing opera. <laughs> so yeah, I've been singing since I was a little girl, though. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I was just looking. How difficult is it to go from George Fitz to Billie Holiday? How did you make that transition that quickly and easily? Difficulties with switching from Bizet to Billie Holiday. Yeah. Um, it is dif uh, difficult. Um, it's a different voice uh, part. It, it's like a lower part of my voice. I have to understand how to warm down. I have to just understand my instrument, my range, my capability. I have to understand when I'm too tired and all these things. So just being aware of my instrument and my body. But it's a mental thing. Just being able to relax and just think about what I'm singing about allows me to be able to transition, not think about, okay, I just sung this high song, now I gotta sing this low song, because if I get in my head, that's it, it's, I'm gone. But just, just staying focused and, and, and being in tune with my body, which is my instrument, yes. Yes. What I do, um, well I've recently started working out and exercising, I need stamina to support my voice. Um, being aware of what I can't eat during the week, like I can't eat tomatoes the week I'm going to sing, or my allergies will act up, as a reflux can happen, so being aware of foods and what they obtain and knowing what I can handle. And so just eating correctly which is um, something I'm getting into now and working out, and um, knowing when to rest my voice. If I'm tired, I need to rest, because if you keep singing, that can lead to some later issues. Yes. There are classes, there are performance classes, acting classes on that. I've always been a dramatic person. Um, I stare in the mirror and I do practice my emotions. Um, I've always been like that since I was a little girl. So I think for me, the acting is what draws me to opera. So just being able to connect and do things like that. But I would say going to college has perfected it and helped me uh, grow and understand why I'm emoting. Because if I'm up here singing sad German and I'm smiling, that's not right. So just being able to understand the language, I can perform and deliver correctly. Yes. Yes. When will you be performing again in this area? Inkster Jazz Fest, July 8th and 9th. I'll be doing two songs on both days. Where, where? Where's that coming in? Right. Um, the corner of Gangster Road and Michigan Avenue. Yep, it'll be blocked off, so you you'll see the stage and everything. Okay. Okay. Broadcast? No, abroad. Broad. Abroad. Oh, yes. I went to um, Verona, Italy last year for a three-week opera, summer opera program, where I was able to work with professors from Juilliard. I was able to work with many different professors, do opera scenes, and just perfect my instrument and grow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Any more? 
Lord. So proud of you. Thank you all. I love you all so much. Now, I would like to do, um, since this performance is dedicated to Cheyenne, we would like to present Deontre. Deontre? And Deontre. And Deontre? <laughs> Yes, you can. This is Yashe, and this is my short nephew, DeAndre. <laughs> Great nephew. We would like to, Cousin Pia would like to give you guys some. Okay. See that big pink dog over there? Look, check it out. That's for you. What you gonna name? when she grows up. But I heard this fella right here, I heard he wants to design video games. Now, we can't afford to buy you one. <laughs> but we're gonna give you a little something to go towards getting your favorite game, okay? Oh, Thank you.